Hey everybody and welcome back. My name is Sue and I'm from OML Embroidery and today I'm going to do the video that I've promised for a while but haven't done so I hope you guys like it. It's all about Sue's nails and nail art. So I said I would explain this. So this is a company it's called Maniology and this is a monthly box that I get all the time. Now I, I haven't had it for a year and a half so I'm super excited. It's wonderful every month to get it. It's uh, They've got lots of good ideas and it's awesome. So I'm going to say straight up it's from the States and if you're international it's expensive. But I love it anyways so let's have a look. So the first thing, I've unwrapped everything because I can't wait uh, to do everything. These are stamping plates. So they are metal plates and they have the design etched in it. So I'm going to pick from some of these. They look absolutely beautiful. So that's the first thing and they come in these containers and there's a blue film on them and you take them off. Then you get your stamping polish. So this month, these are the colors that go with it. Last month, I think, was like a, a sea thing, oceans. The colors were beautiful. So stamping polish. Can you use regular polish for stamping? You can, but it won't be as good. So these are a little bit thinner, which makes the stamping a whole lot easier. And they are highly pigmented, which makes them stand out. So uh, I only use stamping polish. And the reason why I'm, I'm willing to pay the extra is because these are the best, I think, anyways. So the color is uh, Hafa, and this is Prana. So they're stunning colors. They're really, really nice. Look at this. Ooh, I can't wait to stamp it. So highly pigmented means they show up. Always with Maniology, you get, uh, with this one anyways, you get uh, little gifts. So this month is your, it's a holder and for your cards, and I'll show you what you do with this. And a sticker, rock your style. They do different things every month, so it's kind of fun. So, then they give you cards about it. So, you, they talk about the colors, the harmony in colors, go with the flow. Uh, this is beautiful. These are the two colors kind of merged. And then you got some ideas of what you can do. Um, let's see. Lots of videos, too. There's lots and lots of videos. And then here's a quick explanation of how to get this look, which is really cool. Prep nails, white stamping polish, and then we go. Yep, yep. So I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to do. I'm going to go, in the meantime, I'm going to go get all my stamping goodies. Okay, I am back and I have all my stuff ready. So I've got my plate. I tried it on here just to make sure I liked how it looked with the colors. And I'll show you why I need this. And then I have acetone, which you need to use with this. Let's see, I have my grabby thingy because I don't like touching the chemicals too much. So I just fold it like this and it's a pump. So we'll leave that there. Now the first thing you do is put some acetone and clean the plate before you start. It's a good idea. So I have, let me show you, this is my favorite, favorite stamper. And I really like it. It's nice and soft, and it's got a nice little stick to it. Two parts, so you can stamp with this one as well. I like using this because, I don't know how well you guys can see that, but you can see through it. 
for precision placement. So I like that. Now let me put that little bit aside. The other thing that you need is a little plastic card. They come in different sizes. You can see that all my stuff is well used. So what I'm going to do, I've painted my nails with the beautiful orange and I just did, you know, half the nail just because I thought it would look good. No other reason other than that. And we're going to take this beautiful turquoise. So when you're stamping, this is a time sensitive thing. So remember that the stamping polish is a little bit thinner and is much more pigmented. And if you wait too long before picking it up, then it's going to dry. And same goes for putting it down. So let me just show you which one did I want. I think I was going to try this one here. So you take the color and put a little bit on it. Then you take your card and you scrape it. And I just wipe it off there. Pick it up. Check. That looks good. I have a couple of extra things on there, so I'm just going to take them off. And we are going to uh, stamp. Now, I can't see. There's going to be a reflection here, so hold on. And I've probably waited too long, but I can't see if it's a good pickup or not. It's pretty good. See how it's not quite coming up, and that's because I waited a bit too long. But if I'm careful, I can get it. Now, isn't that pretty? I like that. All right, and then I use just a simple rolly thing. There we go. Just to clean it off, just gently. I don't do anything else to it ever. And then we take our squishy and clean it. And I'm not 100% sure I like that design. I think it's kind of cute. Maybe we'll try one of the full nail designs. This one looks good. Let's try that. I usually experiment a little bit. So again, put your uh, nail polish on it. Scrapey thing. Make sure it's covered good enough. Pick it up and let's put it down. Ah, see, I like that much better. I like that much better. That's really pretty how the orange shows through. And you can see what I have taken off. And then we just clean it. So usually at this point, I decide which one I like better. And I think this one is really pretty. I might leave them both. Shall we try another one? So we've got to clean this off because you don't want the nail polish to dry in there. They're stamping polish, rather. Um, that one, there's so many to choose from this month. Maybe the flowers. No, I like those. Maybe this one. Let's give it a try. Sometimes I'll just leave them all different like this. And uh, I put way too much there. No need to waste. Um, other times I start again. So there we go. Let's see how this one looks. I got a stamp closer to me, but I'll show you guys. That's what I want right there. Oh, very nice. Yeah, you can see the flowers. I love it. So clean, clean, get all the little pieces off of my stamper, and then we're going to clean the clean this. Now another thing you can do is, I mean the sky's the limit with this. You can do anything that you want, uh, colors and designs, and you can color them in. It's called reverse stamping. There's so much you can do with it. Um, Let's try maybe this big sunflower with maybe a couple of those. I haven't quite found the one that I adore yet. 
Maybe this one? Let's try that one. And it's just, for me, it's just fun. It doesn't, it doesn't take too long for me to do it because I have a lot of practice. Patience is a big, huge thing with this. So stamp quickly and maybe we'll try it on the thumb. And I want it lined up basically in the middle. Stamp it down. I got a little boo-boo right there, but look, you can just scrape it off quite easily. Ah, so decisions, decisions. What will I decide? Well, I like all of them, probably this one, but I might leave this one as well. So maybe I'll go for this one. I think it's awesome.